Welcome it's to Perception. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Perception Check. You oh, must wow. have rolled by you. you must have <laughs> Thank you, Zoidberg. <laughs> Sorry, it sounded like Soyberg from my end. Huzzah! <laughs> Sorry, it is warm. I just had a drink. Anyway, welcome everybody to Perception Check. You must have rolled pretty high to find our quiet little stream. How's everybody doing tonight? Yay! <laughs> well, thank you. That only one person replied. <laughs> well, there's a cat hey. holding me busy. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I am your dungeon master, Brownie of the Joy Charter Gamers, and joining us tonight is the ragtag Rose you, hopefully, know and love him. We're joined by Raven. That's me, hello. We're joined by Chopper. What? Oh, <laughs> hey. don't mention him. Oh, okay. We're joined by Aeon. Well, Aeon's asleep too. Hello! There we hey, go! Did you forget you had pushed the talk on again? <laughs> no, I've actually got talk to talk, but it didn't hear me. Oh. <laughs> Discord basically just said no. <laughs> I just to know that my own computer was pretty normal. Have you tried talking? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> wow. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're joined by Heidi. Hello, peoples. And we're joined by Kotlal. <laughs> now, unfortunately, um, Del is not going to be with us for tonight's session, as she is currently going through a university lecture today. So if she somehow can make it, she'll join us when she can. But if not, it's looking like she will be away for the for basically this whole session. And we're just waiting on our last person to arrive when she can. Again. If she can. I even Again. wonder. Yes, there. this is common. Don't worry if you're new here. This is common with all of us. This is the only chance we got. Mm. Damn but... it, I thought I pulled an uncommon at least. <laughs> damn God damn. God damn. What's this? Another. Oh, another imposter oak. <laughs> Look, that would be quite rare for us. <laughs> what, her turning up or an imposter oak? No, we have enough things that are in the last arc. Was that Aeon? Mm -hmm. Didn't we have enough imposters in the last arc? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not done yet, I don't think. You never know what could be Ooh. lurking around the corner. Death. <laughs> Death awaits you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Seymour popped into my head. But anyway, enough about that. Um, a small heads up just to bring up on this end of things. Um, I have started my new job, so things might seem a little on either the rushed end on this episode. If it somehow does, it's just a little heads up to everybody. Um, but otherwise, uh, I'd just like to let you know that my streams shouldn't be too much affected, but... It's just a heads up that if any D and D sessions are missed, just know it's it, you need to basically watch the either JCG Twitter or our Discord for any news if it is or isn't happening. But that's the only heads up news, unless anybody has any other news they want to share. Mm. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Fair enough then. All right. I think it's time for creepy music because oh, no. I think it's, yes. I'm sorry. We must be sapped away from real life and return to the campaign of Monu. So, last time on Perception Check, the Hope Finders had decided that it was now time to make their way up the Crystal Gleam Mountains to sort out the deal that they had established with the kidnappers of young Trilly's parents. After making your way up with Topaz Lightning as your guide, you made your way up the mountain and you came across a fork in the road as you made your way further up the cold peak. One path led across the side of the mountain while the other one led into a dark cave area. 
Thanks to Topaz being uh, your guide and having the little talk with all each other, you decided it was best to go inside the cave, and there you discovered the you discovered a large lake area within the vicinity. This was known as the Crystal Spire Lake. And it was revealed, thanks to what Topaz was around, that this was basically the water source of everybody down in Creo, as well as the Tabaxis who were here on the mountain before. Carrying on past that, you noticed a large cliffside, which was basically another way to get up the mountain. Magnus, proving how dexterous he truly was, accidentally triggered one of the uh, booby traps that was located on the wall. And you were all greeted, some quicker than others, by a lake spirit. In the process of all of this, Zelion was dragged into the water with Ursula going straight after and Trilly doing her best with a bow to strike from the surface. You managed to rescue Zelion, but not before Zelion apparently had some kind of a flashback of some kind, much to some of your guys' knowledge. After managing to pull him up, make sure he was okay, Zelion then thought it was best to try to leave the cave and thought maybe we should go back the other way, while apparently an image of a hat of a elven figure apparently having the same pendant as Zelion does. And that was where we last left off. So, hope finders. At this point, yes. uh, at this point, Zelion is basically making the way out the cave. Ursula, I believe you were following after him, I think. If I rec if I recall correctly. Oh, I think so. I think so, but uh, I can't answer that. Oh, oh. hi. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Um, I am. I think I was starting to, but not a hundred percent sure. Right. Okay. Uh, in that oh. case, uh, if those two are making their way out, what are the rest of you doing at this point? Well, I follow, so... I was, tr I was trying desperately to stay awake, Count. <laughs> Fair enough, alright. Uh, okay, at this point, um, Topaz is actually kind of Staring yeah. at the lake for quite a little bit. Oh, a moment. We got Moonrave has gotten a deluxe charge. Thanks for subscribing for 23 months. Zong. Also, I have Thanks, to find, Raven. Also, I'm finding Kitty for the control of my mouse, so. No, <laughs> no worries. All right. Um, so, Topaz is just looking at the lake for a little bit. And. She then notices uh, a trip making the way out and is going to follow suit. Uh, is everyone else following suit or is anyone else doing anything? Just so we can clarify this a little bit before we move on. Yeah, Trilly's heading for the exit entrance. Out. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Uh, uh, Liam, Magnus, what are you two doing? I don't remember what I did Magnus. last time. <laughs> uh, all right, Liam is staying with Magnus. Uh, what was that you said, Chopper? I don't even remember what I was. I did last time, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's uh, been a long couple of weeks for me. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> um, the last bit we got from you is you stood back to watch a little bit, and you just remember basically the spirit and just wondering where the spirit had left. After that, you watched Zelion walk off, so that was the last thing that you basically were... <laughs> Uh, basically involved with, if that makes sense. Oh, God. Um, if you listen closely, you can hear my brain misfiring. Um, <laughs> what brain? Damn you. Um, <laughs> if you ever hey. come to the States, 
two, one of two things is going to happen. One, either I'm going to bring you out to a bar and we're going to drink until we're stupid, or two, there's going to be a fist fight. Who's that? What the hell? <laughs> One, I don't really do fist fights, so uh It's probably gonna no. be drinking. And but Lena was drinking to our stupidest just we don't have to drink. It's already the case. Uh, and Lena has decided to join us. Hey Lena! Uh so I think I am gonna go follow Zelion. You're gonna follow Zelion out the uh out the cave. Alright, and Liam, I presume you're following suit? Yep. Okay. Uh, all right, so Zelion is basically the first out of the cave. Um, I'm just doing this as the context for the sake of the views here. Uh, Zelion uh, sort of stands at the entrance of the cave. He pulls out the, uh, he basically just stops there for a moment and just looks out towards the cave entrance. Ursula, as you are the first to arrive there, you do see Zelion basically just looking at the amulet as you're, as you're approaching. Uh, do I know what the amulet is? Uh, make, uh, let's see. Um, I actually, I think Zelion brought it up before that it was something personal, but not too much, not too much to the point of fully yeah. explaining it. I think it was back when we were in Helix, so. Yeah. Yeah, Zelion meant. Yeah, I don't remember that actually. Now, yeah, Zelion mentioned about. Um, Zelion mentioned about what the amulet was relating to him, but not what it fully was. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So Zelion is just looking at the amulet, and as you approach, he gives a large sort of. I'm going to walk up to him and pat him on the shoulder. Uh, oh. Uh, Ursula. Um, uh, Are thanks. you okay? Yeah. I'm... Uh, I'm just... thinking. Thinking about... What exactly? She, uh, he looks to you for a moment, gives a large sigh again, and then looks back towards the lake as the others are coming up. And he looks back to you and goes, "Ursula, do you, did you, did you see anything when I was pulled under?" I saw a bunch of hands grabbing at you, trying to pull you down, but other than that, I don't think I did. Was I supposed to? No, I, I don't know. The truth is, I... When that... When Trilly's arrow... I think, I, I believe it was Trilly's. It, it happened so fast. When, when that arrow connected, all of a sudden, I just, I saw something. I saw the images of a lot of things. And a lot of them were a lot of people who apparently came in here and one of them had this, and he shows you the amulet. One of them had your amulet? Who do yes. you think it was? I don't know. But if it's the same one with what happened, I, I really don't know what to make of all this. Uh, at this point, by the way, um, at this point, the rest of you are beginning to make your way to the group. So if you guys want to be involved in the combo, you can at this point, if you wish. But I... Zelion was... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Cop. No, I roll airhead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> airhead. Okay. Uh, Zelion looks back at the, the group approaching and then back to you, Ursula, and just goes... 
I did tell you before that I, st I don't know anything about my past, right? Besides, like, where I was born or anything like that? Yeah, you mentioned that. I have the weird feeling that this is somehow connected to that. But I still don't know much more than that. Like, why was why was that figure here? Why was he here with this? And was he here alone or what's the I don't know what the connection is about all of this, and it's driving me mad. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. I gently put my arms around Zelion. Look, let's try and focus on the mission at hand, and then we can try and solve the mystery of your past after Zelion's parent after sorry, Trilly's parents are safe. Yeah. This whole yeah. mystery of your past is consuming you, and that's not healthy. I know. I know the reason we were here was because of Trilly, as he looks over at young Trilly basically just approaching up now. And then he looks back and just goes, It's the first hint I've had in some time. I, I guess I just... <sighs> it might be best... Yeah, you're right. We should... We should focus on the now. Oh, is that... Oh, that's Lena back again. I hate Discord right now. There we go! Hey, Lena, you doing okay? No, I'm gonna shoot Discord right now. I think everyone's been having trouble with Discord lately. Oh, works fine for me. Uh, no. <laughs> well, I I know that I know it's been it's been having a bit of trouble on my end. In fact, Aeon sorry to interrupt it. Aeon can attest that my connection has been awkward sometimes when we've done Monster Hunter. It worked on the game, but Discord seems to keep dropping me. Yeah. Discord has been ass lately. Stupid is Odd. stupid is stupid. It's either picky or I annoyed it in a previous life somewhere. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. So, uh, Lena, just to quickly run up the speed, just so you know about this, uh, Zelion and Ursula are talking at the front of the cave, basically about what just happened, and everyone is sort of making their way to join back up with them. So, okay. yeah, so... Uh, just join up when you can and such, and uh, we'll take it from there. So uh, at this point, um, uh, Zelion just sort of gives you a big hug back, Ursula, and then she, and then oh, sorry, and then he walks back um, towards the group a little bit as they're approaching, and he he's, he basically just says, um, you know, I'll just I'll just say because you guys are making your way up there, I'll just say you're up here at this point for the sake of this. Um, he just sort of comes up and just goes, I'm so, so, sorry, everybody. I... Uh, just a lot just happened then. Well, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, the spirit's gone now. Yeah, it's just... What they left me with is just the issue part, but... Now's not the best time for this. We really need to get back to focusing on getting to Trilly's parents. Um, Topaz. Oh. Dina? Uh, Dina? Yeah, I'm, the, yeah, I'm here. I was just stretching. Oh, yeah. uh, no. It's, uh, Zelion basically just calls out to you and just goes, Um, Topaz, the other path that we didn't take, that goes across the side of the mountain, right? How long would it take us to get up to the top if we took that way instead? Hmm. Uh, uh, Topaz, at this uh, hey, just for the context of this one, uh, you would know this. Um, you would know this. Uh, the last time you took the route, or the last time from it before, 
the route was the best part of maybe about maybe an hour, an hour and a half at most. But it just depended on the terrain. Okay, I've been turned to Zelion and tell him that depending on the terrain, it could take an hour to an hour and a half. Well, all our options are we either try to climb back up that again, and I'd rather not be anywhere near this place, but I guess I... I and you see Zelion at this point just put his hands on his eyes and he just sort of rubs a bit like, uh, I, I don't know. Sorry, my head's a mess right now. I then place both my hands on Zelion's shoulders and reassure him that everything will be okay. Yeah. I, uh, you know, Topaz, at this point, um... Roll a history or religion check for me, please. Okay. Well, hang on a second. I gotta get my thing. I gotta sign back in to... Um, <laughs> Roll I history. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Keeping tabs on your inventory. <laughs> I like that one. Sorry. All right. Uh, whilst uh, whilst uh, Lena's getting herself up there... Uh, are the rest of you all now making your way towards the exit, or how are you guys acting in all this? Because I feel I feel bad that we're not getting much more with everyone. I just want to make sure of this. I'm following the rest of the group, so. Yeah, head for the exit. All right, no problem. Same. I'm sticking with the group. Okay. So I say at this point, let's just move you all further. To oh, <laughs> you dragged the dots with you, too. Just you little dots. Ah, you. Give me a minute. Sorry, it's just a bit annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you ever get those little moments where you see that smallest thing and you're just like, no, 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 I got to get rid of that. Uh huh? All right, oops. Okay, why did it move everybody like that? All right. Uh, okay, so uh, at this point, as you're all making your way towards the exit, um, you do hear the wind begin to uh, pick up a little bit more again. Um, as... Uh, oh, I'll get my ambience back up. And as you guys are making your way towards the exit... You begin to see that the weather has slightly begun to shift to a more cloudier type of uh, atmosphere. The sun isn't so much in view, but there is a bit more of heavy cloud in the sky. Not dark enough to be like a storm, but at least enough that it looks like it's not going to be as bright at this point. And as you make your way... Um, as you make your way there, uh, you head back down the path, up, and you make your way back to the fork of the road. Uh, I presume, if we're going with this, is the route to go up the other side of the mountain? Yeah, um, I don't think we have any other way we can go. Okay. Uh, in which case, I do need to know what is the order going up the side of the mountain. What is the what is the route of the path? Who's who's taking charge or who's where? If you could show me, basically, like uh, I'd say, if you if I uh, move everybody a bit out the way over here, so uh, organize yourself into a straight line. So the first person goes in this square here. And then everyone goes uh, goes back along the line. I need to know what the exact order is going up the mountain. Huh. Uh, well, I know Topaz was leading us before, so that should probably happen again. Given that the uh, snow is probably a lot deeper on than anyone else. 
um, Trilly will be going second so she doesn't end up lagging behind. So, uh, Lena, are you okay with leading the party or do you want someone else to lead it? Right now I'm having issues. What what issues would that be? For some reason I can't I can't sign in I can't sign back into D and D Beyond. Oh. Uh right, okay, okay. Um Okay. Uh give me a minute. Let me have a little look about this myself. Uh okay, while that's going on, uh what's everyone else what's everyone else doing? I'll Still stay behind bangers. I guess I'm somewhere. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Don't everyone fly off at once. <laughs> right, give me a minute. I'm just looking this back up. If all if all else if all else fails, Lena, I'll tell you what to roll if it comes to it. Uh, yep. Sorry, just give me one minute. There we go. That should be fine there. All right, cool. All right, so uh, so Topaz and Trilly are there. Uh, who's going third in the line? Sure. <sighs> Shall I just assume it's the same order that you guys were in before? Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Okay, fair enough. It worked before, so it will work again. No worries, no worries. Okay, uh, I'll just get this bit up here. So, uh, alright. Okay, uh, so, uh, Lena, um, I've got, I've got your stat up here, so if there's anything you want to roll, I'll tell you what you roll for it, okay? All right, and Heidi's back there. All right, so if we're going in the same order that we had before, it was, if I see this correct, it was, uh, it was Ursula. Mm -hmm. Then Magnus, then Liam, then, oh no, sorry, my mistake. It was, it was Zelion, and then Trip was near the back. <laughs> yeah, if I've got that right. I think so. I check my order. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Uh right. Okay. Um mm -hmm. All right. So, you head back to the fork in the road and you begin to make your way up the side path, up the side of the mountain. Um as you're making your way up, you begin to feel the wind beginning to get a little bit more colder as the the route itself isn't like a straight path. It is more like going a bit uphill. It's almost like you're going up this small little uh small little incline. It's not the steepest thing in the world, but it does evolve more like a little trek. Um to your left side, you see the peak of the mountain basically going up to your left. And to the right of you, you see essentially the large drop that tumbles down on this sort of 10 foot wide path. Uh, at this point, as you're all making your way up, there isn't so much for signs of life at this point. The air is getting more humid um i would like uh i believe all of you are dressed up warmly i believe at this point right also Pretty heat humid. heat cell spell the heat spell your heat yeah okay fair enough then don't worry about my bit here but uh at this point uh you know what why don't i just why don't i just show you Oh, what Brownie the heck is been, this? Yeah. Brownie has been working, sort of. <laughs> see? Hey, look, see? I worked a bit. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. So, at this point, 
at this point, you guys are... Uh, oh, I just realized I did my math a little bit on the wrong end. This is your DM's fault. I'm truly sorry. God damn it, DM. Yeah, I know. You know what? Give me a minute. Let's just sort this out quick. Now, hey, hold up. Let's be nice. Yeah, okay. We there are we being go. being nice. You are. Hey, it's fair. It's fair. As I said, I rushed this. All fine. All right. Okay, so oh. you guys are basically on this path here. You guys are down this path here. So this bit here that isn't marked with anything, this is essentially the drop that heads down the that downs the mountainside. Um, to the left is the peak of the mountain, basically going up in sort of stages as it was here. So this is basically your sort of incline to how it looks so far. Uh, okay, at this point... Um, we're now going to go to another challenge. Oh. Uh, at this point, um, you make your way further up the peak and about... Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for doing those there. All right. Uh, what? Give me a minute. Why do I keep scrolling? I keep Is going... somebody moving you? Yeah, I'm trying to put myself down, but every time I do that, I scroll up for some reason. I'm like, quit it. Did you accidentally hit the center mouse button, the scroll wheel? No. Because that usually happens with me. No, it's just glitching out like that. Every time I try to, to grab myself, it does like... All right. Okay. It's weird because if I go... D but even so, right. if I pull down, I should scroll down, not up. And I'm scrolling up when I pull down, and I go up, down if I go up. Okay. okay, now I'm logged back in. Now I know what I was doing wrong. I was trying to log in with Google when I needed to log in with Twitch. Oh, uh, yeah, that 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 is a little annoying, that. But no, it's all right. So if you okay, guys want to... Yeah, if you guys... Okay, if you guys want to position yourselves... Uh, to this bit. Give me a minute. Let's make you guys a little on the bigger end, so it helps there. Alright, so we had Topaz on the lead. Oh, big Chungus. <laughs> yes, there is a big Chungus. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's just make you guys a little on the bigger end. Uh, who have we not got on the map? Uh, Magnus no, and... Yeah. Zell. Okay. All right. Let's just put it with that there. Okay. So, uh, your challenge at this point is. Uh, so we'll get to that in a minute. All right. So Topaz. Yes. Manning the the climb up, you do see before you a large rock essentially blocking the path. Um, this, uh, this, ro you know what, I'm going to make this just a little bigger, just so it's not giving the wrong idea. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, 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 yeah, I see the rock. Yeah. I have to scroll up a little bit, but yeah, I see it. I no worries. Yeah. I don't see Dwayne Johnson. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> or Killer Croc. <laughs> I mean, it's a big rock. <laughs> All right. Nice one. <laughs> All right, so nice one. I like that. No. All right, so Topaz, um, as you're making your way up the group on this end, uh, you do see the large rock there. Do you stop the march up? Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, the rest of you, Topaz basically just sort of raises up a claw and just says, Halt! <laughs> All right, uh, at that point, you basically all now see this large rock basically blocking the path. It is essentially mm -hmm. blocking the whole of this 10-foot wide sort of path here. Um, from the gathering of what you can gather at this topaz, you can tell that this is sort of a common thing that can happen in the form of, like, avalanches or rock slides of many different kinds due to, like, weathers kicking in and such. And you... You do tell because this you being on your mountain end of this, you know that this was a natural falling occurrence. So, your challenge, clear that rock. So, at this point, what are you going to do? 
Hmm. It all comes down to all of you guys, so whatever you so wish to do. How big is the rock? Uh, the rock from where you guys are currently standing, the only thing you can tell is it's currently blocking the 10-foot path, but you're unable to see from your perspective how far back it goes. The only way you'd be able to do that is if you somehow climbed up, or if you somehow could climb a bit, or look over around the edge. Doesn't really help. <laughs> but it, it, it gives me some idea. Alright. What's anybody going to do? We still have a little bit of rope and a baton, so we could probably use that to toss the baton uh, up to the top of the rock with the rope attached, and we could use that to climb it. I have 10 batons left. And a 50 feet. Do you have rope. rope? Yep. Okay, I have rope. Hmm. We could use that. Not in D&D, but I'm going to experiment with Discord, so give me a sec. Right. Okay, so uh, if I heard that correct, you guys, uh, we got uh, Ursula and Liam doing batons in the rope. Just like and climb. Is that so. what we're doing, yep. Liam? Uh, Liam? Yeah, you can just go ahead and climb. You're best at it, yeah. I guess. Well, that's because oh. I have the climbing gear. Indeed. You guys don't. So, um, let's see. Which one do I want to use? Um, I have the hempen or I have the silk. And if I remember correctly from last session, we used the hempen to tie to each other. So that's did, pretty yes. much all used up. Okay. So I'll give him the silk rope then. All right. So you're giving Liam the rope. I thought you were going to climb. <laughs> and there's 50 feet of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I guess it sounds like you're doing it then. Well, I'm in half plate, so that's not the best idea. The, it could be worse. Could have been tripped trying it. <laughs> yeah. It could also be worse. I am in full plate. Mm -hmm. So what's so what's someone doing? I need to push it if we can, guys. I'm sure as hell not going to find that. Fuck it, I will. I'll use my climber's kit and I'm going to attempt to climb the rock. You're going to climb the rock. So you're going to try to climb over the rock. Um, okay. Yes. I can smell what the rock is cooking. Uh. <laughs> how long were you? How long did you wait to make that pun? Long. Yeah. Not long. It's not a rock. It's a boulder. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> the boulder right. is mildly offended by that. <laughs> Come on, let these people have their fun. Yeah, fine. All right. So, Ursula, uh, if you are putting the batons in, I would like you to make a strength check, please. Oh, I have the climber's kit. The... Yeah, you still got to put the batons in the rock. Oh. Yeah, rock will it's, remember okay. that. Uh, yeah, it's okay. just a rock. Uh, it's just a rock. I mean, mm. the rock is big, so it's like what you it's like what can you put what are you going to use to help climb it? If you got the batons, you might as well plug them in. So, strength you said, right? A strength check, please. Okay. Fourteen. Okay. No, that doesn't sound bad. You managed to sort of put the first uh, piton uh, uh, into the into the rock, and you feel kind of confident that it's it's nice and in place. So, uh, are you using are you using that and going to try climb it? Well, I don't have any rope because I gave the last of it to Liam um, so oh. that he could use the... I would totally give it back because why the hell would I accept that if I'm not going to climb? Also, Magnus may have a ton left. So... I've only used the rope once. 
You managed to hear a noise coming from close by. Oh, boy. So, are you still going to go climb? Uh, not after hearing the noise, considering <laughs> last time I ignored a noise, it got me in trouble. Well, I mean, it's up to you. You can use it, so you can choose to climb, or you could choose to listen out. It's up to you. I'm gonna listen. All right, make a perception check, please. In this fact, I will, allow, in fact I will. In fact, I will. I will allow any one of you now. If you guys want, all of you can roll a perception check if you wish. Yeah. It's a golem, isn't it? Not another one. <laughs> oh. A six. Okay. We got a three. Better than a three, Magnus. I'll tell you that. Two thirteens. So Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Actually, I'm, let me double check whether I rolled that right. Oh, it's a plus one, so seven. Seven. So. All right. Just waiting on the uh, waiting on trip. Twenty. Oh. Well. <laughs> oh. Okay. Trent Not knows what it is. You, uh, you do actually, well, uh, for most of you, even for Topaz, you can't seem to pinpoint where the sound is coming from. Liam and Trip, you do manage to get a sense on where this noise is coming from, and you get a, a sort of noise end of it, that it is coming from the other side of the boulder. Oh, no, it is a boulder. <laughs> no, it just no. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a mineral. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ, Murray. Wait. <laughs> I'm going to drag Ursula back. Um, you, maybe yeah. she's climbing. You probably have to ask her to get down first. Oh, they stopped when they were putting it in, so. Okay. Stop me, Liam. There's something on the other side. Ooh. And? We need to get over this boulder. Oh, yeah, but I don't feel comfortable with you being there alone on the other side. Well, there might be multiple enemies over, over there. Do I have to use magic? Ooh. To do what? Move the boulder. Yes. Uh, that, that would be useful. But I want to. I forgot that I have my voice mod not on. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take. Yeah, uh, it, it didn't load in. Oh. Yeah, I tell you what. Uh, Topaz. At this point, um, I would like you to roll a nature check for me, please. Okay, when nature check coming right up. Thank you. Okay. Well, I guess I can move the boulder safely, sort of, but uh, I guess. Okay, 18. Right, uh, okay, um, Topaz. There. Hearing that howl, you do recognize the sound of those howls. They're howls? Yes. Uh, uh those howls. Are co come from a special breed of canine creatures known as frost wolves. Oh boy. Whenever you said canine, I knew it was some kind of wolf. Well, that's the that's the video. So it's uh, choose with that information what you wish. Do you wish to let the others know or do you keep it to yourself? It's all up to you. I'm going to inform the group because it's best thing is best that they know. Don't want anyone getting killed here. All right. So you guys now know that there is something called a frost wolf. Frost so at this point, okay. yeah. uh, from that eighteen, you know what? I'll be now. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you get a little bit more information. Uh, the one thing you know, because you got higher than a 17, uh, Topaz, you know that frost wolves always travel in packs. Well, don't all wolves travel in packs? 
Well, it's just confirming the information. All right. So at this point, uh, what are you guys doing? You've got a you've got a piton and a rock. So what are you going to do? Um. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Uh, I th I think I'm going to use magic. Is that okay with you guys? Yes. Fine with me. Can I oh. at least get my baton back? How big is a baton? Small. I don't know. It, it's kind of. It's. I think a baton is like a sort of foothold, isn't it? Oh, it's just yeah. an iron rod with a hook, so you can attach a rope. Ah, uh, yeah. Climbing. So it's so it's small. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's all I need to know. I grab one baton out of my bag and give it to Ursula. Oh, okay, Thank pull you, it out. Ma'am. Okay, you can pull it out then, and uh, you know what? Drop it on the ground. Oh, that's okay. Liam gave me one of his. We're good. Okay. Um. Okay, then I'll cast some magic, and I cast animate objects. Oh, okay. Do you, do you know, oh. see why I kept asking the size of things? Oh, that makes sense. Uh, now, okay. What does, now, what does the skill do if I may ask? <laughs> Nothing um, wrong with that one. So, see that rock? It's considered a huge object. Yeah. That comes to life, I can order it to do things, and it's pretty much an extra thing I can control. You're making a golem, essentially. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm double checking the exact jurisdictions of this. Yep. Objects come to life at your command. Choose up to ten non-logical objects within range that are not being worn or carried, and each target animator becomes a creature under your control or until the spell ends or until it's reduced. So mm -hmm. its casting time is one action, and you essentially have control over it for one minute. Mm -hmm. And huge in huge targets counts eight objects, and I can get a total of ten. Yep. Th so you can essentially <sighs> animate this and two small boulders if you really wanted to. So yeah, two small rocks. Has control over a rock. <laughs> all right, go ahead. What are you telling? So also, I've... all of you watch. All of you then watch as Trip basically just steps forward. And uh, how are you going to summon this? How are you going to do this? Okay. <coughs> if Esther's grant me my strength. No, oh, if Esther's grant, grant me die strength. Die strength, sorry. Does, does he just trip fencing up? Give this boulder alive so it can so it can aid us in our quest up the mountain. Rise, boulder! And, and aid us now! And Trip casts uh, cast it. Yeah. All right, yep, you cast it, and to confirm, that is a fifth level spell. Yep. Yep, fifth level. Okay. So all of you then watch as Trip basically utters her words, and as she looks towards the rock, the rock begins to shake and shimmer. Dust begins to fly a bit from under it, sort of the grains of the dust, and it begins to sort of move and shake with a... All right, well. it's yeah. So it's under your control. So at this point, the boulder basically just sort of moves forward a little bit, and it just stays there for a moment. And then I guess I give the order to move aside. Okay. Uh, well, uh, it's only got one way to go because it's going to have trouble climbing up the roof. Climbing mm -hmm. up the cliffside, so it's only got one way to go. Yeah, it doesn't say if it hovers or not, because if it hovers, it means it could hover up just enough to let us through. <laughs> it doesn't say that this has, it moves, so it's like, how? may have a look. I because you can, look. apparently you can also have little tiny, co ten tiny coins on the ground that you can also control those yep. at, and attack. And I'm like, how do they do that? Do they hover then? Like, it's not really specified if they hover. I believe they're flying. Uh, yeah, I'm double-checking the rules of this thing. 
if the creature, if the if the object lacks legs or appropriate other appendages it can use for locomotion, it instead has a flying speed of thirty feet. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what you made was a sentient missile. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. God. Right, and as you lift this rock up, you, uh, Ursula, Liam, as you are the closest, you get a look a little bit as the rock flies a bit in the air. You do now see a bit under the rock. You can see the signs of essentially two sets of paws. Uh, um, um, you know, put it a bit further and then <laughs> drop it. Yep. And you have to teach me that at some time. Uh, <laughs> teach me that sometime. Uh, what? Oh, uh, why? Uh, two wolves are over there. Oh. Uh, Make it go squish. Uh, I guess the flying rock could scare it off. So, uh, uh Boulder, move forward and scare those wolves off? Wait, move to scare the wolves off, okay? Yeah, yeah because uh, it's not an issue. We're not fighting, so I'm just saying, move to scare yeah, the wolves off. You're not... All right, so at this point, it's going to move a bit back up, and it's just going to slam... It's going to go for the scare, so it's going to go for the ground. It's going to just slam the ground. So, you know what? To make sure it doesn't squash them, I'm going to give the wolves a dexterity saving throw. Fair. All right. Uh, okay... No, they both failed. <laughs> they both failed. Oh shit! So this one, yeah, the rock basically does it, and it slams down. One gets a bit more affected as the other tumbles back. The other one sort of scrapes through with a uh, with a bit of a slam. Um, if possible, um, uh, Brownie, Potlo, can you? Yes. If you want to know the damage, it's two d twelve plus four. Yes, I see it. Go ahead, roll 2d12 plus 4, please. Yeah, I think I have to do that. 15 points. Okay, yep, so that's full damage on both of them. As you slam it down, it slams a bit into the back of them, sort of going a bit of a distance. The two wolves sort of go... And they both get flung forward, and the rock is now back... Uh, flat, flat on the ground. It's now basically a bit further up. <laughs> you know, I could have just spoken to them and asked them if they minded us going past. I... This spell doesn't last that long and uh, I was reacting. And yeah. as that's going on, you hear another noise. One that sounds closer. As watching from above. That's a big wolf. <laughs> is a large dark brown colored with a silver toned nose and is looking down at this situation and it's growling at you and you're at the situation with a sort of uh brownie yes is it female you don't know that damn it i wanted to make a pun i mean a joke if it's, i've got another one if it's theme if it's female it must be on shark week I was gonna oh, go. No. I was gonna go for that's a huge. God damn it! <laughs> all right. So oh at this point, God. this the wolf here now just basically looks over all of you and gives a sort of, and it leaps oh, off and stands on top of the boulder, and it turns to look at your direction. Uh. Uh. Oh, 
good. I wonder why she's pissed. Um, Frilly will know. cast speak with animals. Okay. Um, I oh, you know what? Just because Trip did the uh, the chan, I'll say that Trip moved a bit further up. By the way. And Magnus apparently got white. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, what? Right. That's all right. Your, your character token looked a bit long stretched rather than the same oh. size as the others. Fair enough. No, oh, it's just like that. All right, so Trilly, you cast uh, Speak with Animals? Yep. All right, go ahead. Oh, my God. Um... I think we might have had a bit of a misunderstanding. Um, we just want to uh, travel up through the mountain. Uh, okay, one minute. Uh, give me a second. I've got to look up some stats here. Uh, do -ba -do -do. Yeah? Okay, uh... Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Oh, damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, it did just watch two walls get nearly squished to yes. death. Yes, it did. This is damage control. Oh, nine. Uh, no, this is about to be controlling the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, it just glares at you. And to all of you, you hear this... <laughs> And as for you, Trilly, you hear the words, The time for talking is over. Leave the one that hurt my friends so that I may feast upon their neglectance. Lovely. Um, I don't suppose you'd be open to a counter offer where we heal your friends and. Apologize. You are obviously new to this side of the hills. What I'm brings what Sorry. brings you here? And your reasoning better be good. Um we are <laughs> following a uh, vile wizard who has kidnapped my parents. Your parents? Ah. So you're the one. Ah, that doesn't work well. At this point, the rest of you See it jump off and land in front of all of you at this point. And now you see the proper size of this wolf. It is standing essentially about maybe eight or nine feet tall. And it's about maybe 15 feet from snout to tail. And it just sort of looks at you all and sort of just begins sort of sniffing the air with a sort of... And then it glares back at you, Trilly, and just goes, We have been instructed to keep this hillside safe. And I doubt that I will go against the description saying that a halfling is the leader and that the halfling must be dealt with. What's he saying? <coughs> fuck diplomacy. <laughs> what? Fuck diplomacy? Well, I'm the leader here. <laughs> what? I don't know. You're not the leader. You can't decide that. At that point, the wolf basically just takes a little step back. And at this point, it oh. looks over the group. 
it just sort of looks over and just goes, Wait. Goes to the left of us. Walls to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> well, if, if it was the other side of you, maybe. <laughs> uh, at this point, he just gets a sniff and just goes, hmm. Wait. I sense. and begins to patrol a bit to the sides as it follows its nose for a little bit, going past you, Liam. What's it doing? Well, something. Liam prepares a firebolt in his hand just in case. Okay, uh, you're holding the action. What? What's the, what's the condition? Oh, if it attacks. Okay, good to know. All right. And it's a pan uh, trip, so I do. will redo that every turn. <laughs> okay, so you're preparing a normal can trip. Uh, yep. Ursula, what are you doing? I'm equipping my short bow. Okay. And the I'm wolf... going to hold an action by prepping an arrow. Okay, what's the condition? If the wolf attacks. Okay. Same Good as Liam. To Good to know. Okay. Uh, at this point, it looks over a U trip. And it just follows its nose a bit more and just... And Topaz, it sort of goes... Uh, let's see. Uh, where's the where's my thing gone? Oh, there it is. God damn it. My fucking thing's gone. Oh, you know what? I'll just say just move through. So it sniffs through and it's just sniffing by. Magnus, it sort of goes past you, giving you a sniff in the process with a sort of... Did I not bathe well last that night or something? Hasn't this thing heard of invasion of privacy? <laughs> it's a giant wolf. I don't think it cares. It just, and then Sniff Sally goes, Wait. You. And it stops and looks at Zelion. Something about you. Uh, in fact, the rest of you all hear barking, and Zelion's just looking at the at the wolf, just sort of going, roo, 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 roo. Atrilli, you do hear the words of this. The words you actually do hear are, something's familiar about you. And it glanced as... Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, are you are you holding an action to uh, Topaz? No, at this point, making a statement at the moment. Okay. Oh, you're you're saying this out. Are you saying this out loud, or are you whispering this? I'm saying this to myself. Okay. Good to know. Just checking. <laughs> All right. It then looks back in your direction, uh, Trillian. Goes, halfling. Who is the half elf? My friend. They bear a familiar scent. A scent I have not smelt for years. I do not recall the last moon I saw. Hmm. And it walks back up to you, Trilly, and just go, and you now, and Trilly, basically with your size, you are literally sort of underneath the base of its jaw. <laughs> and it looks down at you and sort of just gives another sniff again, going. Why do I have the uneasy feeling that this thing could have Trilly as a snack? It can probably get all of it done. Yeah, it can. I'll give the DM ideas while I'm inviting this. 
The you DM can. is the D, DM's not writing stuff down. <laughs> it. All right. At this point, the wolf then sort of looks back at you and just goes, "Tell me, which one moved the rock?" I mean, I can't understand him, so... <laughs> yeah, so Trilly's the only one who has to relay this, if she wants to. I can talk to it, but I can't understand it. <laughs> oh, well. Do you relay this? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Uh, make... Make... <laughs> Make, make make either persuasion or deception. Am I technically lying? No, actually, you're, you're not. But it's you're not you're not technically lying. But it's whether the wolf can check if it's basically something moved the rock, or whether it somehow will believe the rock moved itself. So if, it's, if it's, I order it, it, if I order it, it's technically telepathic. Yeah, you can. Okay, ooh, fifteen. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I heard nothing. <laughs> it leans in towards you just a moment. <laughs> I don't know what magic you pulled. <laughs> but if you can remove that boulder... I might be willing to let things slide. Oh god, what are you going to let slide? Snow? Oh no! <laughs> Just Liam. No, Peach's secret slide. <laughs> god damn it! You gotta get by it in 25 seconds! <laughs> All right, yeah, so carry on, so carry on. All right, so truly, you got that wording. What are you going to do with that? Where do you want the boulder? There. Where's there? <laughs> he just says, not there. Oh, not there. I, just, I only said there. Yeah. Not there. Sorry. What are you going to do? Um, this is pretty much a straight drop, yeah? Uh, uh, you can make a perception check if you like. Think. 17? Uh, yeah. From your current angle, you can sort of see the floor, but it's too hard to guess the distance. But you do know you've climbed quite a way up. Why are you looking down there? Um, um, possible friend wants this boulder move, but, um, I don't know okay. that we can get it further in, and I didn't want to push it. I didn't want to send, have it sent off the edge if it was going to land on anything important. Yeah, it's important that it doesn't land on a settlement or something. Who's eating? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Trip's just having popcorn at this! Shut up. <laughs> Just imagine Trip just pulling out rations, just like, not me. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm do hey, I'm doing the same thing, just enjoying the show uh, here. Just cooking some popcorn over my fireball. <laughs> the rock has got a flight speed. What Does that technically mean it can, hover, it can fly downwards at that speed? Yeah, the, yeah. The, the ruling of fly speed is it can technically yeah. fly off the ground for 30 feet. But then it stops where it is after 30 feet, basically. And as, lo as long as it's in the air and it flies, it counts as 30 feet of movement. Okay. 
Done. I ordered. Right. So, so yeah. So for sure, if you want it to hover, that will be five feet. But then you got twenty-five feet to move it wherever you want, whether it's straight up so it continues to hover higher, or move left or right, basically. What if we hover the rock over the edge and then attempt to try and land it rather than drop it? Barney, how much time has passed? Uh, at this point, you've probably had about maybe... Uh, you've lit... Yeah, it's it's been more than a minute, if that's what you're getting at. <laughs> yep. Drop. It's already dropped. Yeah. yeah, so the spell's been dropped, so... If you want to do that, you'd have to cast it again. About that. You don't have any more 5th level spell slots. Mm. Yep. So oh have to push dear. It. Yep, you're going to have to push it, break it, whatever. <laughs> so naturally, I relay that Chip can no longer move the boulders to the, to the party, and so I was like, can't move it anymore like that, so... But with the wolf right next to you, it glares at you and then looks back at Trilly with a smirk and goes, So the one who le who lifted it. All oh, right. Can't Drip. be useful. Yeah, you could communicate, not the other way back. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking this was going to be that trap, but um, I didn't know. <laughs> And at this That's point... That's why I didn't want to strip anything. All right. So at this point, it just sort of looks back and just... It looks back at you, Trilly, with a lick of the lips, like... So it proves that you are unable to help save them. Well, I guess if you can't save physically, you can at least help in another way. Taken down bigger and uglier than you. Try it. <laughs> uh, make make an intimidation check. Right. Maybe it's deception. Uh, well, yeah. Would, would it be? <laughs> I think, well, actually, oh. that's a question. Well, actually, no. Have you t have you fought anything bigger than a than a uh, eight foot, fifteen foot wolf? Trip um, Let's see. We've taken down the echo. We've taken out dragons. <laughs> Right. Yes, I mean you technically have, so yeah, you could do intimidate, intimidation, or persuasion. Fuck that. <laughs> no. Dirty twenty. A dirty twenty. It glances back over, and is then like looks at the rest of you, and just goes, you. And it leaps up, up onto the cliffside above, jumping about sort of 20 feet upwards. Hang on. And it glances. Oh, yes? No, check us. I think I know what to do. <laughs> All right. So she says that now because she has an idea. Go on. I'll give you one chance. Fabricate. Oh, you think what I think you're thinking. I can fabricate. What? Fabricate. Just fabricate the boulder into something small, into smaller things. It's a temp, but it has to be within a contained weight. Two small things that you can see with your edge. You can fabricate a larger or smaller object contained within a... Oh, never mind. Too big. <laughs> I just noticed it's too big. All right. Oh, Ursula's uh, so got an idea. I do, I do, I do, but it's All right. um, one of the three shard bearers if they are willing. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. boy. All right. And the wolf at this point just sort of gives off a loud... And as it howls, you then hear from the other side of the boulder this group of... This large, this sounding, this large group sounding on the other side. And, uh, Trilly, you, uh, you managed to hear this. Uh, the howl that you got there is basically it's saying, Prepare, my brothers. Uh, 
So, you've got a choice to do something. What are you going to do? I'll give you one chance to try sort the situation out. I'm going to try and walk over towards Zelion. Okay. Keeping half an eye on the wolf. Okay. And I'm going to just kind of tap him on the shoulder. I'm like, I think we might need Cobalt's help. Cobalt, oh, wait. You're not suggesting. Yeah. Who else could be able to move that boulder? Certainly not Magnus or Trip, possibly combined. Well, I mean, the other dragons could do it as well, but I mean, I could try. I was hoping and... to ask you first, though. Mm. He nods a little bit and just goes. Everyone, stand back. We're going to try something. And, yep, Zalion's going to try to communicate with Cobalt. What the? What the frick? What? I'm fucking Gazelion bonuses for the skills. Fucking Bard! Yeah, Bards have a lot of charisma. Yep. No, that's not the issue part! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Bonuses. <laughs> Let me put it this way. Uh, plus seven, plus nine, plus eight, plus ten, plus twelve! Yeah, that would be expertise. <laughs> Motherfucking part. <laughs> uh, yes, that would be... Yeah, that would be expertise. That, that's what it would be. Right up, let me double check this expertise. Yep, your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check with any two proficiencies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it just put a performance in history. God damn it. Okay. Right. All right. I'm going to do a roll. In fact, I'm going to do a roll on D&D &D Beyond. Yay. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, persuasion. Yep. Let's give it a go. Okay. Uh, that's a natural 19. Huh? What? Natural 19 plus 8. You don't Damn. say! So it's neck. failing? <laughs> you all watch as Zelion basically grabs hold in, in no retaliation. Grabs the shard. And with a quick little muttering, just goes, Cobalt, please, we need you at this moment. And with a flick of the hand, you all watch as Cobalt just flies out from the from the small shard and lands between Trip, Magnus, and Topaz, basically in the small form, like, Pfft. I'm here at... Wait, what's going on? Long story short, um, we kind of need your bigger form, if that's okay. My bigger form? What? Oh. That thing. Yeah, this yep. frost wolf wants us to move that boulder. Otherwise, I think it's weird lunch. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised. I'm honestly surprised. Well, fair enough. Stand back. Alright, are you guys stepping back? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what the uh, oh, yes. good. Oh, this good. Cutting, this cutting stupid. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, Trudy's gonna be a nice you enough. Want to move? Really he's going to be nice to look at the wolf yeah. and just say, uh, you might want to step back. You know what? It's not the right color, but you know what? It's the best style when I got there. So, yes, it transforms into a form that is just about as big as the path, but not quite there. Liam, Liam. Are you staying there? No. 
<laughs> All right, then I'll, I'll move that so you can move out the way. Okay, good. <laughs> the the wolf then looks over and with a, uh, if I recall correctly, can I get, uh, let's see, uh, this would be Cobalt, so this would be the blue dragon, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh no, we got, yeah, uh, yeah. blue dragon, blue dragon. The blue dragon is Azrine. This is the copper one. Yeah, this is copper. Thank you for the. Thank you for summing that up. I appreciate. So the that. color is correct. Oh, good. I did that complete. Okay. Yeah. You know what? He's gonna go. Uh. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. He's gonna. He's gonna just transform into that. All right. So. Uh, you know what? Let's have some fun with this. Uh. Yeah. You know what? He's gonna go in straight into the adult copper. So. He's going to go for. Uh, he's gonna go for the multi-attack, and he's gonna attack with, uh, uh, one bite and two claws. <laughs> Against the boulder. <laughs> yep, he's gonna try and destroy the boulder. You know what? Let's have some fun with it. Um, I'm gonna make it public. One more thing. Aren't the wolves freaking yeah. the fuck out? <laughs> uh, it's just watching, for, it's just sort of just looking like, oh. Alright, so it's gonna attack with the claw first. That's a 19. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> yeah, that does hit. So, you know what? Let's do this proper. And it's going to attack with the claws. So, you know what? Uh, two claws. That is... Okay, fair enough. Yeah, okay, good to know. 21. <laughs> and... Sorry about this, everybody. No? Fine, very fun. The second one for... <laughs> 31. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna do. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I don't even have to roll the damage because because the first strike is enough. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it goes to attack, and with one strike with the bite, it cracks through the boulder, and as it does so, it crumbles into pieces. <laughs> and with that, the the wolf is taken back and just steps back with a. <laughs> and. And Cobalt at that point just turns and goes, It is done. And disappears back into the shard. And right on the other side, you do see the rest of the flock, as it was, or the rest of the pack. Okay. There is a group of six other wolves, one smaller than the others. And oh. at that point, the the wolf then looks just uh, the, the. In fact, uh, to mention this as well, um, the you do see that two of them. Are, in fact, actually, no, sorry, three of them are on the ground, and they look like they're wincing in pain. And the the wolf then jumps down. And. With a little a little turn, it looks back at you all and just does this sort of Oh you have a dragon? Yep. Hey. <laughs> and with that, it just turns and runs to its flock. <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> And uh, you do get a glimpse of this. Um, uh, Trilly, um, it is a bit farther away from this, so if you want to hear what they're saying, you'll have to make a perception check for me, please. That's fair enough. I'm also not actually going to get closer any, in a minute. Oh, all right. Oof. <laughs> 25. Hey. All right, so... As you're listening out, you actually do hear with the spell of yours coming close with like last two minutes of it, you do hear the sword, you do hear the leader just go like, are you all all right? And then you hear one of them whining and the words you hear from the other one goes, yes, the boulder moved just enough that I could get out of there in time. What's going on? It appears that we do not have to worry anymore. The main thing is that you're all safe. How about you two? 
Yeah. Whatever that boulder did, we couldn't get out of the way in time. And at that point, the one on the ground just looks over and goes, Wait, how's, how's my girl? How's my little girl? And it sort of crawls over to the smaller dog. Oh, God. So, up to you on this scenario, guys. What are you going to do? I'll try to ask the first real idea from it. Uh, hang on a sec. Right. Uh, Cop, what was that you said? I need to thus really relay the information. Yeah, Trilly is going to essentially fill them in on everything, that, the whole conversation to this point, and what she just overheard. Okay, uh, Raven, on a side note, what did you say just before we carry on? Why are they running? It's just a dragon. <laughs> Zellian just looks over and just goes, Well, wouldn't you be alarmed if a dragon just suddenly popped out of thin air and blew something up? No. Then you're different. <laughs> okay, right, so, so it's... Been... So Trilly's, re Trilly's relayed the situation to you all. Then Trip goes on ahead and goes to see what's going on. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Trilly, we're Trilly too. Of course. Hang on. All right. I don't want to get... Okay, I'm about 60 feet away. Um, I'm going to burn one of my second level slots for healing spirit. I'm going to summon the spirit, essentially, in the shape of a, a, sort of the, one of the smaller um, frozen yes. wolves and send it over there, essentially, to heal what damage it can. So. Okay. All right. Roll. <laughs> okay, I don't think they've got a home roll for this. Um, I can oh. restore. I can only restore so many d6 doing this, but. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, switch the trip a sec. I'll look this up. <laughs> No, I'm t I'm checking what's exactly going on. So, Trip is not no casting anything yet because she doesn't know what she's casting at. Okay. Uh, what about the rest of you guys? What are you doing? I'm sticking next no to Zion. Whatever uh, Moon Raven's gonna be doing. I'm going to punch uh, <clears throat> our half orc in the face. What? He's going to do the <laughs> same as me, so he's going to punch himself. <laughs> no, you uh, open that, you open that door for now. yourself, Magnus. Same. That, that same. All right, uh, Telpaz, what are you doing? All right, uh, what about you, Lena? What's, uh, what's Telpaz doing? Lena? Lena? She is on loot. Okay. Right, we'll come back to her in just a bit then. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, you found anything yet, Aeon? Yeah. Uh, did you say three of them looked injured? Yes. Right. Then I'm going to apply these to those three um, and the bigger one to the little to the smallest <coughs> one. So. Okay. All right. So 10 points of healing. All right. Yeah. So. Not enough to cure, uh, not enough to cure them completely, but it is enough to at least get the majority of them a bit more moving. One does look a little more worse for wear, but it's mainly just because I think it, you you sort of gathered that it looking like it was the one who was essentially kind of crushed a bit by the boulder. Yeah. At this point, the leader does turn around back to you all and just sort of just looks and just goes. I... I don't know what to say. Uh, Brownie, I hate to interrupt this for a minute, but I have to go, uh, meet someone about renewing my lease and or transferring it. Alright, no worries, dude. Uh, basically, Moonraven's in charge of, of Magnus for a little while. 
Oh, Until I get back at this. But be sensible. Oh, Magnus shouldn't be is more than jump half... off the cliff right now. <laughs> shouldn't you... I shouldn't be more than half an hour. Keep him alive. Oh, no promises. No promises. Right. Okay. okay, see you in a bit, Chopper. All right, yeah. So it just... Yeah, so it just looks so it just goes. Why? It appears you. don't understand. Why not? And Trip, of course, asks the following oh, button. Button. Are there any more injured? Um, sure, yeah. I'm at 57 out of 66. So... <laughs> 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 I mean, you walked into that one. You, fu you funny! You funny man! <laughs> you pretty funny! <laughs> Alright, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you do get a sense there's a little bit more injury on some of them, but it's hard to tell how injured they are. That's why I asked. <laughs> like, all I'm right, waiting for right. an answer. Like, is it... Like, thanks, thanks for the little person? Yeah. <laughs> also, Trilly, uh, your spell is almost up, just so you know. You've got about a minute left. Fair enough. If need to be, I'll recast it. All right. No worries. As long as I'm aware. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So at this point, yeah, Trip, uh, you do see there's like a little bit of like moving around and still a bit of blood on the three there. Uh, but some don't look too bad compared to the others. Okay. I wait, I wait for Trilly's uh, action. Um, I'm just relaying the conversation at this point. So. All right, no worries. Okay, it just got, it just looks uh, the the leader just looks back at you the the frost wolf, and it just looks and just goes. I. It just sort of lowers its head, almost like it's sort of like... The equivalent is sort of like the little... It's like the dog when it does like a stretch. It just lowers its head and it just goes... It appears they have been misunderstood. Thank you for saving my brethren. Dip knots. I'd like to say, we're just trying to get up the mountain and rescue my parents. We didn't mean to cause you any difficulties. No, no, to be honest, it's a little bit of our own fault, okay. a bit. We were, we were out busy hunting for food for our family, when suddenly that boulder just came out of nowhere, and it just land onto the top of one of my brethren. We tried to get rid of it, but no matter what, we just couldn't do it. Then some figure just came up to us and just said that if you want to get the one who threw that rock, I saw them approaching from the southern point of the mountain. I didn't want to lose any of my brethren. So... Uh, yeah, that's understandable. Um, this figure, he wasn't perhaps dressed in, like, I don't know, black robe? A chance for me? He wasn't, no. Okay. All I know about, from what I looked at him, he looked... He looked half-orcish. Kind of similar to the one you have back there. I couldn't oh. say much else. He was a bit far away. He said he didn't have the capabilities to move it, but he at least knew we could get our revenge or maybe try to beg the one to move who did it. Again, I'm truly sorry for what happened. I just didn't want to lose any of my pack. Hey, I'm up here because I'm trying to save mine, but... Well, 
know that you have at least earned my respect and to your to the one who moved that boulder I apologize I apologize for what I was saying and know that I mean no ill will to what you did too even though it was an accident Apology accepted. I should have floated it off the cliff, but I panicked. To be honest, our howls probably did that effect, and for that we apologize. Now, you said you were on your way to the peak of the mountain. Yeah. Well. Give me a moment. Would you give me just a moment? I wish to speak with my pack about something. I have a question. What's that noise I keep on here? That's called my phone being my phone. I'll put it somewhere where it makes where it's less annoying. No worries, no worries. Alright, so... Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so they back up a bit, and you do get the sense that they are talking a bit amongst themselves. You do hear like little howls and things, or rather to trip and such. The rest of you looking, you see the pack just backing away and stuff. And they're sort of looking at each other and such and doing all that. Uh, about a minute goes by. Two minutes. And then the leader comes back forward. Ah, that noise is my spell trying to expire. I'll recast it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At this point, the wolf then sort of stands a bit firm and just goes, If you are willing to take a good deed for another, will you at least allow me to accompany you to the top so I could try to help you save your, your family? I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Please. If anything, I at least owe it as a bit of an apology for being, well, snorky. All right. Tell me, what is, what is the name you go by? I feel bad that I should at least know that. Uh, my name is Pretty Thistleweight. Pretty Thistleweight. And your companion here? Uh, her name is Tripshield. Hmm. And the rest of the lot back there, they are with you too? Yeah. Hmm. Very well. And to all of you here, you then see it turn around, and it talks out to the others, going, My brethren, please return back home. I shall return within, I shall return within the hour. Once I do so, we shall go hunt to catch more prey once more, so that we may survive. And at that point, you see the uh, all of the pack go, Arr! And... It then turns around to look back and goes, It's probably best that my pack returns back to the confines of our of our abode. And okay. it glances and it glances over and it notices Liam coming up and goes Ah, the one who was preparing something to smack me with. And what do I call you? Wait, is he talking in common? Uh, no, he's to he's oh, he's still talking okay. in the in the wolf language. It's just Trilly basically has speak with animals. Yeah, so I don't understand. Yeah, Trilly you don't is, understand. So Trilly's basically your midway. Trilly's translating everything that's being said. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, Liam. A pleasure. If you, forgive my, if you forgive my eagerness to know it, who is the half-elf that you have at the back there? Half-elf? 
Yes, the the one in the fancy, the one next to that girl who's wearing literally what looks like nothing coming up here. I get it, because wolves are colorblind. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, I'm glad okay. somebody got a click. Yep. So yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah, so he's just going by what you see, so uh, you know I'll say it another way. The one that's next to the cat. Okay, the cat. Uh, well, the one next to the kitty cat is Zellion. Zellion. Yes. That name does sound familiar. So... Good familiar or bad familiar? Like, are we going to rumble anyway? No, no, no. Uh, there was... There was an elf that I saved a few years ago. Hmm. He was being attacked by some... frozen elks. We managed to save him. In return, he... gave us some... safety. We took him to a little cave, and we rested in there. The last we did see of him... Well, we had a talk with each other, and he mentioned that he had a charming little boy. And then, next thing you know, he was dragged into the water. When he came up, he... Well, I don't know what happened to him. He just looked distant, not saying a word. Then he just walked away. I sadly don't know much more than that, but the smell of that elf, it's similar to him. <coughs> but... But I digress. We are we are burning sunlight. Maybe it's best if we get up there as fast as possible. If anything, you really don't want to be here when the night falls. Quite. Ah. Uh, uh I I for, forgive me for my wording, but I feel bad that you all have given yourselves a name, but I do not have much of one I can return back with. We'll call you Tiny. <laughs> we'll do something like that. Do, do, you, do you really want to try call... Do you want to call him Tiny? Yes. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't see where that's going to fit the name of the wolf. Uh, that's the point. <laughs> we'll think uh, Tiny that, Tiger from Crash. Is that one of those... Ironic names, Liam? Yes. It, it's going to be fun if people are actually going to look him up and they're like, well, you're not tiny. <laughs> A name that would confuse. <laughs> Interesting. I appreciate it. If you have any others, I would not mind to hear them as we go up, but... For now, I'm willing to go by Tiny. Nice. Now then, now then, we must hurry. Please, if anything else, we should probably get moving before, well, before this wind picks up. Don't want to be here if a snowfall begins to cause an avalanche. Um, assuming that the other four haven't yet moved up by this point, Trinity's going to call back, We've got an escort, let's freaking go! Oh! And yep. Ursula's going to uh, start moving <clears throat> forward. Uh, okay, Zellion just looks over at you, Topaz, and just sort of is just like, Is is this a common thing here? Do the wolves normally guide? I'm guessing it's new to you, too. Well, depends on who it is and if they're 
familiar with this, and if they're familiar with said someone. Huh. Good to know. Anyway, we should probably catch up with them. Alright, so Mag Magnus is... Alright, so what's Magnus doing, Liam? Because <laughs> you're, you're, you're in charge, Raven. Oh, he's and just don't following. Say... Yeah, alright, so you guys all make your way up. Making their way... Hmm. Making he's your way downtown. <laughs> Making my way up the hill. <laughs> alright, so... Um, with your new escort, Heine, <laughs> I can't believe you actually managed to do that. I am going to find a better name for him. Yeah. Like Bob? I'm, go I'm going to confess the honesty. I was so tempted that you guys were going to attack and destroy the rock and the wolves would ambush you and attack you back. <laughs> I thought yep. that's what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they'd be protecting the ones caught under it, yeah. Yeah, because uh, that's what would happen, yeah. Mm -hmm. But fair enough. All right, so you continue making your ways up with Tiny being your guide. Thanks to him being around, you manage to, manage to find some safe passages to sneak your way around. And after an hour has gone by, you make your way. To a little area at the top of the mountain. Ooh. Scary. So, um, okay, so you guys are coming up from the bottom down here, by the way. Oh, obviously. It's always yeah, the bottom. By the way, yeah, it's it's by the way, this isn't quite to scale, it's just as it is, okay? It's pretty much a town map. Yes, it's a, it's a town map. It is a town map. All right. And um, at this point, uh, at this point, um, at this point, uh, Topaz, as yeah. you begin, as you begin to make your way up this area, the sights that you see before you give you this sense of Upset, fear, frustration, and it's at this point that you do recognize this area. Also, oh, welcome back, Chopper. Back. Also, I think there's something wrong with the proportions of of the characters. Yeah, I've noticed. I've noticed something's a bit up with them for some reason. It looks like one. It looks like one of them is fine, but everyone else is a bit off for whatever reason. And now I'm huge. Uh, so actually, I have a. Little... Sorry, what? I have a little bit of an update. Uh, apparently, it's going to take me about you know, probably another forty-five. All right. So sounds like oh. you might be away till the end of the session. Probably near the end, yes. All right. No worries, yeah, dude. You know, At I least gotta do adult things. No worries, dude. Go like do what... Ends. Yeah, go do go do what you gotta do, dude. It's perfectly fine. Oh, and also I have some good news. I get my second COVID shot on uh, Wednesday. Huzzah! I get, my, I, get my, I get my first on Wednesday. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna... yeah, yeah. In Colorado, it's 16 and up. <laughs> so... I, yeah, I love Colorado. I already got my first one. I got the Moderna. I'm getting the Moderna one. What you? Which one are you getting? Uh, I'm still. I'm. I have no idea. I'm just going. So just going the NHS gives you. Got it. Pretty much. <laughs> it's probably anyway. gonna be Pfizer or Moderna. Well, we'll see what happens. Anyway, we're we're still on session. <laughs> Bye. All right. Take care, dude. All right. Oh, okay. So, Topaz, you do recognize the area where you see here. Filled with familiarity and a sense of dread. This is your former home. This is the land of poor steak. Poor steak? Horse. Poor, poor steak. Poor yes, steak. It is called poor steak. P A W and steak. Yes, it's a dumb name. 
I like it. I think it's good, but it took me a moment to say, if said poor sake, like, well, you could say that again. <laughs> but yeah. All right. So, you will make your way up here. Uh, Topaz, um, at this point, uh, you do take like a couple of steps forward. You feel your body in a weird way begin to feel heavy. Like all of these memories are flooding back. The fear of what you went through when you were younger and the events that led up to now. How do you choose to react? Lena? I'm here. Yeah. How do you uh how do you choose to react to basically mm -hmm. returning here? Well, in a bit of frustration. I pretty much punch a hole in the ground right now. All right, yeah. So all of you watch as you see Topaz just in the sort of thick level of snow just bend down and just straight into the snow. <laughs> Zelion just looks over your direction, um, Topaz, and just goes, um, Topaz, I am sorry to ask, but is, is this place... This is where I used to live. It... I can see how you're able to survive all this. I'm... I'm sorry that we came up to here. Are you okay? No, I'll be alright. Although, I have to admit, I've never... I've never seen a place like this before. Was it... Was it peaceful? Before before everything went down, it was. You know what? Uh, Topaz, if you want to, um, you can make, uh, you can make the history check if you would like that I asked you to do earlier, if you would like. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Figured we might as well have a little chance for this, because this was what I wanted Topaz to go through earlier. Oh, Would four. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Because you're technically here and it's your place. You know what? I'll give you advantage and let you try again. I'll give you advantage and we'll see if you can get higher. I'm being fair, because you've all made your way here. It's only fair. What's well, our home time? Uh, yeah. All right. Twelve. Okay. Um, uh, Lena? Yes? Uh, with the information that I passed on, uh, the information I passed on to you earlier, um, I would like you, uh, to read the, uh, to basically go through the, uh, actually, you know, I didn't give you the beginning part of this, so, um, you know, I will say that, uh, you can read, you can mention this bit after I've said this bit, but that information about well, you know what I messaged you. <laughs> but this, uh, I'll take. Is, is this a conversation we had last night? Yes. Yeah, so you can mention that after I start off this bit because I didn't give you that bit here. Apologies about this, everyone. Your DM screwed up a little bit there. He didn't think it was going to reach this bit. <laughs> All right, so um, the village of Poor Steak had been a village that had resided up here for essentially many years and for the majority of the time this is essentially where all the tabaxis resided most tabaxis didn't come down from these mountains at any point and as you were told before it was mainly thanks to the connecting tabaxi tribe who essentially connected everything up to basically make all these um, these roots parts. 
And you can now see before you what some of these materials have done, where they've made like homes and uh, and like platforms and things like that, and basically stuff to basically make it look like a town on the mountain. And it's also uh, a bit of a historical moment, as this village does go quite a bit back. Uh, at this point, um, uh, let me double check my details here. Make sure I got everything passed to you. Uh, make sure I got everything here about this. Uh, yes, okay, yeah. Uh, so, Lena, um, you are welcome to mention, uh, basically, uh, you're basically free to mention at this point all of that segment we talked about. Okay, because, like, the only thing, the stuff that you gave me was about the lake. Yeah, there's a bit in there that relates to this. So the short version is this place here, it basically is connected up to the lake in question. So yeah, so feel free to do that and I'll fill in some gaps. Okay. So Zelion sort of looks... Uh, so at this point, if you want to say about this village, you can do. If you want to make some stuff or whatever, it's up to you. Hmm. Or... Uh, do you want me? Do you want me just to explain it if that's easier? Yeah, that, I think that would be the easiest way to go. No worries. I tried. I tried. I tried giving some world building. I tried. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! You, wait, you've done good. You've done really good. Yeah, for what it's all right. So, um, the the village of Paul Stake had been around, as I said, for many years. Its founder was the name Cerulean Gaze. And it's presumed that he was the first tabaxi to choose to reside within some more secluded areas for their home villages. Um, he created this village up on this mountain and gathered more tabaxi to do so. In the process of this, they uncovered the hidden temple that was resided up here, and they dubbed it the Temple of the Claw. But in doing this, they disturbed the tomb of Archgem. Archgem essentially made a deal with Cerulean, which was that if Cerulean was able to bring him gems from all over the world, they could make their village within this mountainside. And in the process of this, they essentially had Archgem as more like a protect a deity of this of this domain and to give a time frame this village has been here since the war of the races oh which all of you gathered was the thing that is said to be what created the unity so let me get it this straight it all comes full circle so let me get this straight Archgem was already dead. Was already dead for a while. You said tomb, yeah. so, I, so I say dead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I said that right. Okay. Wait, I did say tomb, didn't I? Fuck. You said tomb. Yeah, you said tomb. I yeah, think you sorry. meant the... I think it... the 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 res the residence. Yeah. Yeah, the residence. Yeah, he became the tomb later on. Yeah, because of. Yeah, fair enough. A lot yeah. of reasons that, that... Yeah, yeah, so this is his residence, not his tomb. Yeah. And in the process of this, Archgem essentially allowed them to um, basically live here. And in the process, it is presumed that Archgem is the creator of the Crystal Spire Lake. And it is said that the crystal that resides in it, that is producing this water is made from Archgem's essence. Oh, good. So, uh, but my original plan of what he wanted to do with it was probably not going to fail. Probably. Alright, and uh, with that said, um, there is a bit more information. I guess it comes down to, at this point, whether... Topaz is wanting to share the religious end of what this place is, or whether to keep that quiet. It's up to you, Lena. I'm 
willing to share with the group. Okay, so going to the religion part, so you're all aware of this. It's best if you know this, because we got it here. Um, with Archgem's blessings, uh, most of the tabacs he were grateful for, um, for, um, for Archgem's presence. And in order for her to continue governing this place, it was an honored tradition that once every four years, that Cerulean would deposit gems into the lake to give the blessing to Archgem, should Archgem be not within her residence. In the, pr in the province of this, people had also been said that they had been acquiring the mountaintops to try and claim this treasure, shall we say, of all these gems. And it is said that the lake is also used for religious ceremonies. Mainly, when new leaders are about to take form. Okay. So, that's, that's the information you got at this point. Trap is entering think mode. Okay. See, Brownie worked on law big time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So at this point, um, tiny. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, I had a brain moment. Like, oh, yeah. Tiny. Oh. Yeah. He looks. I he do looks have... Oh. Sorry. Go ahead. That's all right. Yeah, it's right. He just looks over all you and just goes, Well, I think it is time that we. It is time that I believe that this is the very top of this mountain. Tell me, where was it said that your parents were lying, young Trilly? Um, I'll mark up another speak of animals. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Trip can do it unlimited, so you could just ask Trip to be the, the talker. Yeah, but Trip would be able to communicate too. You just wouldn't be able to understand anything back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, from what we were told, they're being held in the temple. You mean the the building back there? And you watch as he points forward, and you see a set of steps on the far end. And, yeah, it's not drawn here, but there is a large templed monument at the top of what looks like about maybe 200 steps. Uh, that's what I was told. Hmm. Admittedly, the person who told us that wasn't exactly trustworthy, but... Well, I could understand that. Hmm. Well. Shall we go straight in? Do you need some more time? Guys, we uh, ready to head in? Huh? 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 <laughs> Don't everyone fly off at once! <laughs> yes. Well, it's up to it's up to you guys. If you wanna, if there's something you guys gotta do. No, it's more, well. more like, uh, if this temple was here the whole time, beat it then. Huh. Mm -hmm. We could also just take a rest for now because some people have lost spell slots. And he looks over and goes, spell slots? What are these spell slots? Is it... Hard to explain. I'm going to assume that that's what... talking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this... Oh, is this what you use to use your magic? <laughs> yes. And at that point, you suddenly see coming out of one of the one of the uh, oh, uh, actually oh no sorry my apologies never mind sorry apologies, I mix up I mix my facts up a little bit yeah so 
at this point, yeah, there's basically all that you see basically around you. And, uh, Topaz. There is a small familiarity basically coming from... You, you do get the sense that... Well, I suppose I'll just state this for the sake of mentioning it here. This one is Topaz's former home. This one over here. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do, yeah. Do it again. Mm. All right. Left one. The most left one. Left. Yeah. For the for the sake for the sake of it, I'm just gonna make it a uh, not that one, but that's the one. The one with the squares around it. You're welcome. Okay, okay, this one right here. Okay, gotcha. Yes, that is that is your former home, that one there. Yeah, I couldn't find broken buildings, unfortunately, so I had to make do. And do you did. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. Fine, if next time I'll blow up poor steak. <laughs> okay. Either, no, that, no. either that or I'll blow up Malaysia. No, no, all these houses... Oh, do I have to press the button? Just... No. Nope. Wait, they what's are that literally the wall and the front wall. There's no side walls. <laughs> just a standing up. It's just a 2D structure. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever works. All right, yeah. So um, at this point, um, you all do get a sense that uh, that basically in the middle uh, in front of you, because I didn't go into this detail. I forgot to do this. You do see all the houses there, but in the middle, you see what looks like a large circular stone structure. It has been destroyed, uh, stone monuments and arches cut to the side. You see what looks like uh, a small bit of banner that is basically still dangling off only just about. Uh, you do see um, some small bits of what looks like um, a red splot dotted all over the place. And uh yeah actually you know what uh topaz could you make a wisdom saving throw for me please sure <laughs> so wisdom saving throw oh 15 okay that just succeeds <laughs> what all right so uh well i'm getting to that bit so as you see the middle structure your breath begins to get heavy. Your lungs begin to fold a bit as you feel like you're kind of self going into sort of a... <sighs> you feel like this anger is belling and you feel like going straight in. But then you realize that you remembered from Dizen that sometimes rage is not the best reaction. You take a step back and collect your thoughts. You're still perfectly fine. Just for the record, if she failed, I would have had her go charging straight at the temple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or worse. All right. So, wow. uh, yeah, hey, I gotta have my fun somewhere, and everyone else has too. Anyway, so yeah, so at this point, you all basically have this moment here. What do you wish to do? Hmm. I think hmm. I'm going to explore one of the houses. Okay. Just uh, around what... the outside, not not in looking inside the windows, not going inside. No worries. Uh, which one are you going to go check? How about this one over here? This one first. All right. Okay. So making your way through the snow, um, it is a bit of a trek to get through it, and obviously you're still a bit on the flat shoes end with you. So moving through this snow is a little bit on the difficult end, but you're able to make your way there, and you're just looking through the window, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, make a perception check. That's the name of the show! Hey! Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I, was waiting for, I was waiting for someone to say that, and I thought that somebody was saying it whenever, whenever he asked for someone to make the first check. <laughs> I could have done, but I was waiting for the moment. Anyway, uh, so uh, uh, 17 is that? Yeah. Okay, so Ursula, looking inside, you do see what looks like 
the sight of essentially a sort of what looks like a barroom scuffle. You see basically like tables and chairs and cloths and plates and cups all shattered, broken, tossed around the entire of the domain. You also see um you also see the sight of basically clothes ripped and torn to the side and you do also see inside the sight of a sort of severed arm. Okay, minus the separate arm. Does anyone get the barroom brawl kind of feel here? <laughs> That's exactly what he said. <laughs> but, yeah. So yeah, you see that. You see that before you. Oh, oh, trip! You're going straight to the middle. I'm gonna. I want to check out the middle in a moment. So I'm just showing that. Where, that's where I'm gonna go next. Yep. No worries. Uh, you know what? Uh, Tiny is basically just going to just stay in the middle and just keep an eye on things. In fact, you know what? He's actually gonna. He's actually gonna go. He's actually gonna go sniff this dog. <laughs> <laughs> How it's peculiar! Yeah, you are. You are like me, but smaller and made of other materials. <laughs> <laughs> What is this philosophy of blasphemy? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Uh, so, Trip, you're going over there, right? Yeah. But first, a joke. This is how the dog would respond. Bark.mp3. 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 <laughs> yeah, you're an ass. <laughs> That's good, though. That is good, though. All right. Okay. All right. Oh. So. Oh, yes. Based off when we made this um, deal with the devil with Diction, how much more of the five days have we got left? Uh, at this point, you are basically about three days. Mm hmm. Okay, Trilly's just kind of torn between going into the temple and mm. doing the more sensible thing, which would be to rest up. Or set up a plan. Might as well. <gasps> Anyhow, go ahead, Brownie. If nobody else is doing anything, then... Uh... Yep, yeah, we'll get to yours now. Okay. Uh, Alright, so, um, what exactly are you doing there, then, Cart? Are you just going up to look, or...? I'm just taking a look first. Okay. Uh, you make your way up. Uh, you can either make perception or investigation on the type type of looking you're doing. I'm, feel I'm feeling lucky. Which means I'm gonna roll for it. it. So, I'm gonna do something silly and roll investigation. Because I am investigating. He's really feeling it. 19. Okay. Uh, investigation, you said? Yeah, investigation. Okay. Um, Looking around the area, you can tell by the looks of things that this was essentially where most of this whole bloodshed kind of kicked off. You can see that there are patches of dried blood scattered all around the uh, the central domain. Um, you do see a flag that is sort of waving in the sort of air a little bit. It's ripped off a bit, but you can see the signs of two paw prints. Uh, you also see sort of a broken up table that has been tossed all over the place. And uh, with that 19, Something shiny does catch your eye underneath a, a large, a large bit of little cloth that has been. Sorry, uh, oxymoron. Sorry, um, a bit of cloth that has been caught to the side, essentially sort of on the back arch, like it's been caught wedged in a wall, and it's sort of flapping around. And as it's done, you can see something shiny underneath this cloth. Mm hmm. Naturally, I'm gonna see what it is. I'm gonna go go take a closer look at it and probably try to pick it up. Okay, you make your way up there and you pick it up. up. 
Yep, yeah, it's, it's just about there. That works there. All right. So you you pick up the object. And as you pick it up, you see a small black crystal. This black crystal has been carved into almost the shape of a diamond. And on the bottom of it, you see a small little wooden circle attached on the bottom point. And what looks like a bit of broken stick off the bottom of it. Huh. Okay, then I'm going to do the most natural thing I should do at this point. Hey, uh, Topaz, I think I found something. She's gone to the bathroom, so I'll take over for a minute. All right, she, she, she sort of makes her way quickly across over. And uh, she just sort of goes, yeah, what'd you find? I turn around and hold out the the black diamond uh, thingy. Oh, it's called black diamond thingy for now. To her, so yeah. like, and go <laughs> with uh... black diamond thingy. <laughs> All right. This um, seems part of a up... right. This seems part of a Sorry. staff. Um, do you know anything about it? You watch as her eyes widen, and then she just sort of gives a large, sort of heavy sigh. That was part of the staff that was going to be awarded to my sister. It's part of the leader's, it's part of the leader's role, staff. <laughs> that crystal is one of a kind. Supposedly, Archgem himself wouldn't even take that gem as an offering. So we used it to signify the the one who is the leader of our village. Wait a moment. Looking for the buttons there. Wait, so Archon didn't want this and Huh? Was it always black? I believe so, yes. At least it's it's been a black it's been a black diamond since I remember. Oh. Mm. 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 Trip seems to think for a moment, trying to piece together what it could be. And I wish I could cast a certain spell, but I don't have the components. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because that would have helped, but I'm not allowed to do that. Uh, so Instead, she thinks for a few minutes and just hands the hands the hands the diamond towards uh, Topaz and says, "Well, if it's supposed to be with your family, I guess you're the right person to keep it, right?" Y yeah. Is it is it all right for me to take this though? Well, the other one wanted it as well, so uh, I don't know. But isn't it best to be with one of your people than with someone like me? I mean, when you put it like that, I guess maybe it wouldn't hurt to hold on to this. All right, then. And I give her the black diamond magica. magica. Okay. okay. <laughs> so she grabs, uh, she takes a hold of it. And as she holds on to this, you sense, you, you look at her and you just see that she's just staring at this. She's not reacting for a moment. She's just glancing at it. Not moving. Well, that's going on. Uh, Trilly, 
Liam, what are you two doing? Liam's just relaxing. All right, you're just. Are you? Do you planning a short rest? A short rest then, or in the process, or are you just staying there? Yeah, I'll just take a short rest if that uh, comes up long, if possible. But I guess it won't. Well, depends what everyone else does. Uh, Zelion at this point um, sort of walks over to you, uh, Trilly, for a moment. And yeah. um, sort of comes up to you and just goes, It won't be long now, Trilly. Yeah, it won't be. Do you think, do you think that they know we're here? Well, somebody told the wolves that we were to blame for that boulder. And if it wasn't Diction, then I imagine it was <coughs> one of the other Black Pen people. Because let's face it, who else knew we were coming up here? You make... You make a valid point. Still... It's best if we try to relax ourselves as best we can, but... We also... We also can't dawdle for too long. No. I'm sure we'll figure something out. I mean, the last thing we want is... to come out of this with nothing. Don't worry. And she, he, she, and he just sort of gives you a gentle sort of pat on the shoulder just to make sure you're doing okay. Cheers, Zillion. No problem. We're all here for you. Oh, welcome back, Topaz. Welcome right, back. Uh, Lena, yeah, Lena, to give you a heads up, um... Trip did find something of note for you, by the way. Okay, which is? Essentially, it's a black diamond with a small, like, wooden hoop on the bottom and a stick part coming off. It is essentially the top part of what's known as the leader's roll staff. And... It's essentially was the staff that was going to be given to your sister when she was going to take over the role as leader. And Trip gave it to you because... Trip. Okay, well, I will take it from Trip. Thank her for it. Yep, I already did that for you, but it's best to hear it from you as well. All right, well, okay, well, thank you. Thank you both. No problemo. All right. Uh, okay, uh, Liam, what's Magnus doing in all of this then? What 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 do you think Magnus would be doing? <laughs> wow, uh, he might be drinking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wasted already, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh Lord, he. I can already hear Max talking, you know what, it's just, it's just a skeleton arm, and I'm thirsty, and I'm tired, and I just need a beer after all of that. <laughs> That's my Magnus impression for you. Uh, he's also just going to rest. Okay, so he's going to try to take the short rest if he can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wait. 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 Why is wait? Wait. Wait. Um, why do you have it? Why do you have exhaust? No, it's Magnus that has exhaustion. I was just checking out if I can find out if it was a long or short rest that resets it, but. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, it's a it's a long rest. It has to be at yep. least a long rest and a, a full long rest uninterrupted. Recovers one level of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, he's going to try to long rest, so we'll just see what happens. 
Christ! Um, all right, fair enough. Um, all right. So at this point, um, yeah, you know what? Sure. Yeah, let's do. Uh -oh. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh oh. <laughs> all right. Um, you know what? Let's have some fun with this. Um, Heidi. Yeah. Roll a d8. Actually, a no, hold on. D8. Uh, one second. Give me a second here. Uh, no, uh, d10. Just a straight d10, no bonuses? Yeah. D10, no bonuses. What are you scheming? Natural me? 10. Natural 10! Oh. Okay. Good to know. Ten enemies. Oh. As the rest of you all are busy enjoying yourselves in this domain for some for curiosity, others for rest, others for memories, you do you do get the sense about something. You begin to hear the sound of rumbling. <sighs> it's unsure where it's coming from. But as it does so, you hear a second and a third. What's going on? As the sound of the rumbling begins to pick up louder, you get the sense that something is closing in very, very quickly. Give me a second. Uh, Give me a second. I gotta do something. Uh oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Trying this thinking back to the rem of bras and looking at the ground nervously. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Uh, I would like. Rip, Topaz, Ursula, and... Uh, is that enough there? One second. Oh? Uh, nope, Liam's just out of range. Just. Alright, uh, yeah, I would like Topaz, Trip, and Ursula. Could I, uh, could I get you all to make a... Intelligence saving throw for me, please. Let me double check that on my things. I think I know what it is. Yeah. Nine. Nine. All right. Uh, what numbers we got? Topaz. And Tiny and the dog. Oh, yeah. Tiny. Oh, yeah. Tiny and the dog. I have to roll. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, does the dog technically do intelligence saving throws? It can. Alright, uh, make one for your dog. Uh, oh wait, I am a dog. Me! <laughs> it's a construct, so it has intelligence. Oh, it no, it doesn't have intelligence. It, it has intelligence Roll over. four. Roll over. <laughs> Play dead. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't. Uh, Alright, uh, just roll a d20 then. No mo no no modifiers, I guess. Uh, what what kind of condition is this, or is this a condition? Uh, it is a condition. Uh, uh -huh. actually, you know what? Let me roll for let me roll for tiny before we get to mentioning this. By the way, good. Th hey, by the way, I did my good deed for the day. I made you laugh. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, okay. So, uh, Ursula, you have what? You have fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Okay. Uh. Okay. Good to know. 
Uh, all right, and uh, to sum this up, you know what? I'm actually going to whisper this one to uh, to Liam because I figured it's best if I ask this. All right. Yeah, Constructs have certain immunities, that's why. Yep. Okay. <laughs> no, not one! <laughs> there you go. There's the natural one! It was one, do you forget one? Okay. Yeah. Could, have been, could have been worse. New currency, we have to at least have one natural one during the night. <laughs> Probably. Oh, wait, no, sorry. No. Uh, mm. Oh, oh, wait, hang on a second. Liam, sorry, I said the wrong thing. Um, it's not that. Oh? Yeah. That, it's this. Oh. No, I'm immune. Well, at least yeah. my hound is. Fair enough, yeah. Uh, so the last yeah, one is negated um, by I. What do you want to do with that? Yeah, because I actually, oh. yeah, because I actually technically did the wrong thing. So you know what? I'll say at this point, your dog is unaware of what's even going on. I'll just say because oh, yeah. of that. I'll say because technically you rolled on that one. We might as well do something. It doesn't know what's going on. Oh, uh, there's no <laughs> needed reason for him to understand. All right. Um, but as for trip. Topaz, Ursula, and Tiny, who rolled a four minus one, by the way. Oh, even oh, worse. Here. Yep. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. I'm over there now. Well, yeah. You begin to feel like you're pulled in other directions, and you instinctively to walk towards the cabins. Uh, you know what? Tiny's gonna go over here with Topaz. Um, good doggo. They're good doggy. <laughs> dog and cat. Hey, it's a cat dog. Yes, it's the low little world of the little cat dog. <laughs> you had you you had to go there, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> All right. And, who, uh, and who, does, who does remember that show from way back in the day? Oh, God, dog. Yeah, I used to love that show. Angry Beavers was better. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't you know I love my brother Norbert? How do you dig it? <laughs> oh, God damn. I've got to look that up for all that now. But yeah, anyway, sorry. All of you get compelled without even thinking. You don't even get a chance to think or react. You just feel yourself pulled over to each of those cabins. Uh, Liam, Magnus, Trilly, and Zelion. All of you look and you watch as you just see your companions moving off in different directions. Magnus just looks over at you, Liam, and just goes, uh, what are they doing? Are they... I don't know, let's but... follow. Oh, wait, who's here? Oh, it's Chopper! Also, I believe you're actually resizing the tokens, uh, Brownie. Yeah, yeah, I was, actually. It was just so I could make a better, be get a better look at them and just to help it for the viewers. <laughs> yeah, I know what I did. That's okay. You're still alive, Brownie, uh, Chopper. <laughs> How many? Oh, all right, let me ask you this: How many HP do I have? Uh, you are still you are still at the amount you had. Seventy-seven. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah. So, I did have to heal you fully so though, because uh, you walked off a cliff. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I'm just taking this. Right. You have been no. drinking though. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you've had a little sip of something because Liam had you say you had a sip after climbing up. You got a big exhausted and took a drink. Mother Raven, what did I say about sending those damn spy drones to look at me? Anyway, so Magnus, so Magnus, to give you a short down on what's happening, um, Trip found a former black diamond that belonged to uh, the leader of the village, known as the Lido Roll Staff, which was a black, uh, black, di uh, black diamond-shaped thing. Um, Zelion and Trill uh, Trilly had a little moment. 
And right now, all of a sudden, you just looked and you saw Ursula, Tiny, Topaz, and Trip all suddenly just walk nonchalantly towards the cabins. Hmm. He doesn't know who Tiny is still. Oh, yeah. Ti yeah, Tiny's the name of the dog, the, the wolf yeah. that you've got. Yeah, the leader <laughs> wolf is following with you. I'm sorry, following me. Uh, no, oh. it's actually following Trilly. Fair enough. Yeah, it's following Trilly. I was gonna say, do I have a wolf companion? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just helping with this. Alright. Oh, All right. Let's check this out first. Alright, um... Going on. Okay, so you're, you're just gonna go check that. Alright. As, as they approach, the as they approach each of the cabins, the rumbling gets louder once again. And oh. all of a sudden. <laughs> the sound of rumbling echoes and begins to bellow through the air. And as it does so, you watch as the cottages, the houses themselves, begin to pull themselves out of the ground. And... Oh no. You actually look and you see the doors opening up and a set of large teeth begins to form. I knew it! It's a... I, brownie? Hell house. <laughs> Are you saying the cabin is a mimic? Yep. <laughs> oh, no, no. But, but fight the gazebo. The, but as this happens, uh, the one in front of the one in front of Ursula, the one in front of Trip, and the one in front of Topaz, all begin to glare, and you see them all give this sort of, and you look at a purple sort of mist echoes from their mouths, and it's Liam. You noticing this? It's the gaze, it's the same color purple that is in, in, currently engulfing Topaz's eyesight. And unaware to you all, Trip and Ursula have the same effect on them. And that's where we'll end tonight's session. Oh, go for it. I'm possessed. <laughs> Charmed. Oh, you God. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> Objection, I have not got the materia for this battle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I unlock the buster sword. So yeah, it looks like you guys uh, have to deal with some hell houses. Oh yeah. god damn it. <laughs> so I have, so I have to kill a house now. <laughs> yes. yes, you do. A Maybe house. you can decapitate it. Well, to be fair, it's I not do the first have one the purple <laughs> Yes. All right, but with that said, let's see how our heroes will get out of this one. So, what it's dangers awake... it until it dies. <laughs> what da it. what dangers await them? Will they be able to make their will they be able to make their way up to the temple very successfully and safely, or will the hell houses be inflicting a different kind of hell of their own? Well, you will have to tune in next time to find out. I am gonna love to see what Dell is gonna make of this. Boy. She's probably gonna say, What? <laughs> Brownie? But, yes. You are an evil bitch. You know that? <laughs> the, worst, there. The, worst, the worst part about this is I have been planning this ever since Chopper said he hates mimics. <laughs> that was day one! Yeah! I planned this since your moment! <laughs> since I started playing with you, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, which man. basically means you have Chopper to thank. <laughs> yeah, that that was, wasn't that I'm two fucking years ago when I said that? <laughs> it, it, it could have just been a door that was a mimic. Mm -hmm. No. It had to be a fucking house! <laughs> Yeah. This is even worse than Charlie Pulp. No, 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 no. It's not a house anymore. It's a Huse. <laughs> it's a Huse. Huse. <laughs> I'm going right. to enjoy decapitating. 
Well, somehow, let's, some way. Let's see how this Listen. bit happens to you. But we'll find out exactly whether any of these will be coming a different kind of residence. So, with that said, if you were charged with joy with this stream, be sure and hit the follow to see how this goes. In two weeks, we should hopefully see exactly where this goes. The question is, do we keep this hidden from Dell or not? I say yes. Yes. <laughs> you hear that, everyone? This game is... This session, this session is now a mimic. This session is now a mimic. No, this is a weird music stream. We started with rock and now it's... <laughs> <House. laughs> Alright, Mother Raven, I'll give you that one. <laughs> anyway, with that said, if you, perceptions rolled low, it's time for us to go. Thank God. And and with that said, it's goodbye from Brownie of the Joy Charge Gamers. It's goodbye from Chopper. Yeah, no, I'm not speaking to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> from Lena. Chopper, I am going to kill you. <laughs> from Kotlol. Who say? <laughs> from Raven. I'm enjoying this. From Heidi. <laughs> Oh, how the tides turn in the DM's favor. And from Aeon. You have officially won up the bullshit with the flag. <laughs> how the turns have tied it at, at in the Wait, Hold on. Remember, you coming? turned my legs to stone during that whole bullshit. You won up yourself, Brownie. Wait, are you telling me I actually got all of you good? Yep. Oh, yes! Yes! Hate. <laughs> well, now we're gonna attack gazebos. Ah, all of a sudden, I feel like I want to give one last chance of a charm effect on somebody. <laughs> so this, char so this charmed, okay? Yeah, we'll see what happens. But anyway, this is Brownie of the Joy Charge Gamers signing off a Let's Play Live perception check. Until then, everyone, stay charged. Catch you all later, and keep your rolls high. You may never know what's lurking. Catch you all later. Bye. Bye.